Hi. Staring at <laughs> Hello, this is Bondi. <laughs> and we're here at highest point the Skiddle. Yeah, it's amazing being able to play a festival in our hometown. It's been it's been too long and actually I don't think there's ever been anything like this before, has there really? Nah. So never. it's amazing that these guys have set it up. Yeah. We've never we always kinda of wanted this when we were younger, really. Yeah. So the closest thing we have was like Kendall Calling or Beacons or Beat Herder, but yeah. this is like right where we grew up, so it's kinda of mad. Yeah. Oh it's funny, it's funny like I think we got into electronic music before we went out of clubbing because we weren't actually allowed to go clubbing because we were too young. But we definitely had a few funny nights and hustle and toast, as it was called. It's not called toast anymore. Uh, Sugar House, we once played the show there. And then, really and then we de actually before all this, we DJed in the pub up at the top. Park in, Hotel. In Lancaster. Yeah, we DJed the Park the, Hotel for our mates but a couple of times for different birthday parties. That was yeah, it. That was so like we the kind of set. We take over and just go and plant a sound system in this salt, in this pub up there, yeah. and uh, yeah, we just started DJing there. But that that was it. Like none of none of our uh, schoolmates actually gave one about our music at that point in time. <laughs> so it was a bit of a battle between us just playing the chart hits for everyone and actually like DJing what we wanted to DJ. So our first experiences of actually DJing properly in Lancaster were when we came back to play yeah. the Sugar House once we had a few singles out. Yeah, we never really did any proper like club. We never did a circuit, you know what I mean? We weren't like, residents anywhere or anything like that. No. Because it was, it's hard to do that here because it's, you know, it's not, it's not really made for underground music, for underground house music. Yeah. Which is why it's great they've got this festival, yeah. actually. Not to big it up too much, but big ups. <laughs> also, also the best thing that we've ever done was a wing. That was amazing. Yeah, that we was amazing. We played the cool. prison uh, when it was a club and uh, we it was on Halloween and we were in like Tom and Jerry outfits and it was great. It was really hot but it was great. That's we sad that that's gone. That was like the best club like I had. Yeah. Um, so we've got an album coming out this year uh, in September and the album's kind of about the arc of a day and every track works at a different point across the day. We've tried to sort of find influences from everywhere we've been in the world. So we have some jazz stuff, we have some like uh, kind of like Spanish um, yeah, Latin ideas, yeah. Latin ideas in there. We've got uh, some disco tracks, some um, R&B, like everything that's influenced us, we've tried to make on the album. Um, whether we've done it successfully or not, we'll find out later. Yeah. But the album has been uh, a bit, a bit of like an, an experiment in trying to make something completely new. Yeah. And most of the tracks are predominantly live instrument instrumentation, as opposed to electronic. So it's quite a jump for us. But we tried to push ourselves to make something even more crazy. We got a bit older and we learned how to do it. So we just we tried it. And um, I think everyone has to push themselves. Whether it'll have commercial success or not, who knows, but we didn't really make it for singles or anything like that. We just made it so you can listen the whole way through. And uh, so mu it's music to chill out to. It's not music for the club, most of it, you know. Yeah. First festival we ever went to was Beat Herder, which is in Clitheroe, and it was we all went when we were 16 when we finished our GCCs, and it was hilarious. It was really fun. It was we were in the woods, and uh, well, George's mum's just walked in. Uh, it was in it's in the woods, and uh, we were. I remember we were seeing Leo and Bushwacker at one point, like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We was. I remember look, we were like looking at each other like this is mad, so hip hypnotized. It's like this is what we want to do, and then we kind of basically yeah. It was very inspiring back then. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've ever match that high of that moment you know because we just were clueless to what it was at the time and that yeah. really uh, really changed our minds on what we could do with electronic music it's nice to see it in a place like that as well which is, i mean it, there's a certain parallel that could be drawn between beat herder and here in terms of like how green and beautiful it is around it and that stage was in a forest at the top of the festival yeah it was, it was amazing so if we could get anyone for our festival, dead or alive, <laughs> it would be probably Prince, uh, alive, D'Angelo maybe. Yeah, D'Angelo, uh, 
Who else? Radiohead, but I mean, yeah. they're about, and you can probably go and see them, but still, they're yeah. up there for us. So. Another dead guy, James Brown. Yeah. That'd be a killer show to see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gil Scott Heron, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One of those. One of those. <laughs> I don't know. Three which are dead, one. two are alive. There you go.